Uh, um, you ask me, what uh, are you afraid of? And I would say, I'm afraid not to be a plastic surgeon first, definitely, Christian. And I'm afraid about uh, too uh, much optimistic uh, uh, results uh, about uh, isolated MPFL. Um, so uh, I will try just to uh, show you some uh, few slides about uh, what, um, yes, uh, what, uh, what, why trochloplasty is finally uh, not something that you can add or not add, but it is definitely uh, not an option. And uh, for me, it's uh, not something dangerous and it's not something that I will maybe add or not. It's not an option. And uh, when you have an indication, you have to do it, definitely. And if you, want, if you don't want to be afraid, you have to uh, make the right choice. And the right choice is to take the right trochloplasty. And the, the right one is definitely the deepening trochloplasty because it is uh, etiologic uh, surgery. You decrease the uh, prominence, you create a groove, and it is definitely different from the two others. And of course, if you want to uh, be successful and don't be afraid of, is uh, to make the right choice about your patient. And uh, when every time you have this bump, you can do, you have to do a trochloplasty, and this is the right indication. And if you uh, do only an MPFL here, I would be very afraid about over. Uh, over constraining the, the, uh, the, the, the patella and over constraining my MPFL because the biomechanical condition. When uh, you uh, go on the literature, you can uh, see uh, different things. Uh, I'm definitely not really uh, uh, worried about uh, doing a primary trochloplasty, and this is what we have published. But definitely, the results are not as good as uh, when you do, uh, for the first time, when you do a uh, secondary uh, trochloplasty. Means that uh, you have a failed patella surgery uh, before. Uh, so what does the trochloplasty change? It changes the alignment, proximal alignment. You can expect nine millimeter. It corrects perfectly the tilt. Without any MPFL, the tilt will be perfect. And uh, the MPFL that you will add will just keep uh, and play the check reins. And uh, you have not too much uh, worry about the cartilage change. So if you look at the literature, you will see that every time you leave this uh, supratrochlear spur, the results uh, the quality of life results are not as good as if you remove it. Uh, and this is, uh, we have quite a lot of studies about that. And this one also uh, showed that if you leave this bump, this, uh, you will be afraid of having pain, uh, definitely. What about the, the, uh, the, the redislocation rate? Uh, you will definitely have a less dislocation rate uh, in good indication, of course, when you add trochloplasty. And I have to say that I'm not doing so much trochloplasty. I do maybe 30 uh, per year. And what are my 30? 50% 50 of them are, are done for failed surgery because the indication of the isolated MPFL or isolated TT um, uh, osteotomy was wrong. So be careful about that, please. This is super important. What I'm afraid of, definitely, is probably residual pain but it's because people had previous surgery and it's all, also always very tough patient with a very, very big abnormalities. I'm afraid also about having some stiffness post-op because it's a big surgery. It's not an arthroscopy for a meniscus. It's a, like an ACL person osteotomy. So you have, of course, a little bit more complication. And I am afraid about arthritis sometimes of course, in the long term, we start to see some arthritis, but it's exactly like you see arthritis when you had a medial meniscectomy with an ACL with some cartilage surgery uh, 15 years before. So it's about the same. 
as uh, other orthopedic procedures. So remember that I'm not afraid if I have no primary surgeries, no cartilage damages, high grade trochlear dysplasia, instability more than pain, and I'm concerned if I have some cartilage damages, if I have previous surgeries, and if I'm doing a surgery for pain and not instability. Never do uh, trochloplasty for pain, it's, it's bad. For sure, you have to look at your patient. You have you need to have always good patient for sure. Uh, and I, 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 if I can convince you that you have specific indication, I would be so happy. Thank you.